Hi, Sam here. Welcome to CivilCAD Consultant's tip on using some of the new task menu features in En-ROADS V8i and beyond. This information comes from our En-ROADS V8i and Upgrading to En-ROADS V8i training courses. If you're using the Select Service 2 Refresh, the MicroStation menu by default will not include the roundabouts, the civil geometry, the data acquisition, or the applications options on the MicroStation menu. If you would like to see those, you can look at the properties of your MicroStation icon. There is a string that you can add to the end of the target to have it activate those options automatically. Don't worry, you don't have to remember that. If you simply open up the En-ROADS icon properties, the string is there by default and you can copy and paste it to the end of the MicroStation target. Doing so will allow you access to, again, the roundabout civil geometry data acquisition and applications, which allows you to activate En-ROADS from within the MicroStation environment. Once En-ROADS is activated, you'll notice it seems to be business as usual. However, a little further investigation and you'll notice that the applications now becomes a full En-ROADS menu allowing you access to all of the same commands that you have on your En-ROADS pull-down. In addition, there's also an En-ROADS commands task on the MicroStation task menu, allowing you again access to the same commands as your Explore. You have a category of commands corresponding to each of the pull-downs on your En-ROADS Explorer menu. If you're using this menu, you may not be able to find your locks. If you would like a locks toolbar, like the one that I show here on the Explorer, go to the MicroStation menu and select Tools, Toolboxes, scroll down through the list, and you'll notice that you have toolboxes related to the En-ROADS functions, including one for the locks. This locks menu, unlike the one I have on my Explorer, is dockable with the MicroStation menu, if you would like. For other toolboxes, you can right-click on any of the commands of a category and open as a toolbox. Earlier versions of V8i had the En-ROADS commands in different tasks, so each category was a separate task. This version, however, they've been combined so that you can easily go between tasks without having to close and open. Remember, you can also auto-hide the menu if you're short on screen space by pushing the push pin. For those of you who like to know where everything is stored, the En-ROADS menus are stored in a DGN library found in your installation directory data DGN LIB. And of course, they're fully customizable. Now, with access to En-ROADS commands everywhere, do you really need the Explorer? Technically, maybe not. So you can right-click and use Explore Show Hide to hide the En-ROADS Explorer. But if you're like me and the Explorer is your security blanket, you can keep all or just a part of it. I'll right click again, turn the Explorer back on, undock the workspace bar. I like to keep the workspace bar open for loading, saving, reviewing, and so forth. Then if I right click and hide the Explorer again, the workspace bar stays behind. Speaking of right-clicking, don't miss the addition on your right-click menu of recent En-ROADS files, recent En-ROADS commands, and some general control commands for En-ROADS. In addition, if you hold down your Control and Shift and then right-click, you'll notice that you get the active MicroStation task as your menu. If that task happens to be En-ROADS, then you have access to all of your En-ROADS commands with a right click. In conclusion, there are some nice new features when using V8i task-based menus. But like everything else, it just takes a little getting used to to recognize the benefits. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and sign up for our emails.